Okay, we have a great patient from Roxbury, Mass, and her Roxbury. lovely, <laughs> lovely daughter who lives in the hipster heaven of the world, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> and you had, what were your symptoms? You did not, you had a PVD, but a Weiss ring type of opacity was not your problem. Uh, you had a fibrillar mass, I would call it. What, yeah. what, what were the symptoms that were happening? Reading or uh, Well, it really impacted my capacity to do my job. So I'm a school teacher. I teach middle school. And um, we do everything on the computer. All of our notes are projected. Um, a lot of the kids' work is projected. And the problem for me was I could not get my eyes to work in conjunction because this mass was really... Uh, kind of like holding your hand in front of your eye so I could only see around it and I couldn't get my eyes was that especially when you were reading looking down any anything really but when I was looking at a screen in, in particular um, also trying to read my kids work I couldn't do that um, it gave me great depth perception problems um, I was joking with my daughter that I was bumping into the kitchen counter which hasn't moved in 20 years uh, <laughs> because i just couldn't judge where i was of course so so we're we're back here again uh this is she had, oh uh, our patient here has an implant in her eye that's a little haze in the membrane behind the implant but we'll show you what that looks like in a second so i made a judgment call to you can't go after everything in certain cases, and, and laser is very easy for a patient. The complication rate in my hands is extremely low. Uh, so the goal was to get it out of the visual axis most of the time. Uh, did we achieve that? I think we did beautifully. Okay. Um, okay, and there it is. It was behind the implant. It's a big ball of fuzz, more or less. And so when you look down, that comes up. And uh, we mo I modified it to uh, more or less stay out of the visual axis to a great, a better, a better degree. You'll always see something. Uh, you're going to go back to your guys up there to tell them what happened. And they're going to look in there and they're going to say, well, you still have some floaters there. But that's not the point. The point is, is it better? And yes. you're, you're not subject to a placebo effect. You're an intelligent person. Uh, this is not a sugar pill. And you're happy? That's the bottom line? I'm, I'm happy because go and do my job without having had this procedure done, I don't think I could have continued teaching. Right. Well, maybe we'll conv convince the guys up at Boston at the famous Mass Eye and Ear that there is some potential with this if they choose to pursue it and come down. You're a great patient. Thank you. Have a great trip. Thank you.